Hey everybody, so I got a few people asking about my uh, Aatrox video on how I turned myself into a Darken and people wanted to get a instructional video on how I did that. I'm gonna be honest, I did that footage like years ago and I just recently thought, you'd like, you know what, it'd be cool to share it on my uh, war channel. So, um, I've been doing a little bit of research on how I actually did it. So, good news is, I kind of figured out a way to re-replicate what I did before. The bad news is that some stuff that I had access to um, years ago is not really in Audacity anymore. So, I've had to find, like, a new trick to sort of try to replicate that. Which, I think it kind of came out pretty good after a couple of tests. But, I hope you guys like this one either way. So, first thing, obviously, go, go download Audacity. And then... After downloading that, go ahead and record yourself some audio. So I have two audios. I have a test audio with my normal voice here, and I have the audio I'm going to be editing into a darken. So let's go ahead and take a look at my normal voice. So this is just a test recording of my normal voice. All right, and then next thing we're gonna start doing is gonna edit this one. And I wanna sound, I wanna say this part just yet. So it, it, it just, it does, it does sound normal though. Let's see. So first thing you wanna do, ah, first thing you wanna do. Is that after you get done recording your audio, hit a leave a blank spot, and after you leave a blank spot, get that uh, spot highlighted, go to effects, noise removal, and then get noise profile. After that, hit Control A. Go to noise removal again, and then hit OK, and then that will remove the background noise from your audio, which is very good. Then highlight the area you want to edit. Or if you're just recording no test audio, just record, just highlight the whole area you want to edit. And then next thing you want to go, I hit go. <laughs> next thing you want to do is go to compressor. Where is that? There. Go to compressor. And then just leave it as is. These, these numbers should be fine. And then hit OK. I have this one checked and this one unchecked. And then the next thing you want to do after that is change the pitch. Now, the pitch changing really just kind of depends on your voice. So what you want to do is go to change pitch. For the most part, I feel like 15 or 16 works good for me. So I'm going to set it to 15. Hit OK. And then next thing you want to do after that is highlight the highlight the whole thing. Control C to copy it. Hit a gray spot down here. Just click on it. Paste that down there. Copy the second track. And then go down here to another gray spot. Paste that one down there. So you have three audio tracks you're going to be fooling with. After that, highlight the bottom track. And then go to effects and then go to reverb. So like a while ago, I had something called G-verb. And it's kind of tricky to kind of get the access to that now. So I'm just going to be using the reverb. So these are the numbers that I tend to use when it comes to messing with my darkened voice. Now, here's the thing. You can, you can turn this stuff around, like edit this stuff and change it to your preference of what you want to sound different and go from there but this works for me so these are the numbers that i use if you want to use those as well hit okay you'll see a major difference in the audio after that next thing you want to do after that go to the second audio track highlight what you want here and then you're going to change the pitch on this one now, you can set it to one if you want to, but if you want to give yourself more of a high-pitched, creepy voice, you can change the pitch up again to five or six or leave it at negative one. I'll say, let's, I'm going to do mine a six this time and hit OK. See what, this, see what that sounds like, you know what I'm saying? After that, while it's still highlighted, go to phaser. One thing you want to do is have the uh, stages to 24. Everything else can stay standard, but make sure stages is 24. Hit OK. And then after that, you want to hit it with a compressor. 
compress it and then adjust the amplification of it you want to tone it down just a little bit like six or seven I'm gonna do six or six point yeah can I, can I click that and bada boom there we go hit okay and then after they want to do that go to while it's still highlighted go to equalization and then you want to make sure when it says select curve make sure you have the thing selected the tab that's selected that says base boost hit okay in that regard and then do one more compression and then the last thing you want to do is go over to your gains here set this one to negative six set this one to negative six and then the last one you can do negative four or five now i'm gonna do negative four awesome and then the last thing you want to do hit control a that'll select everything here then go to tracks mix and render and then we're gonna and then that should be it and then we're gonna give it one final test i'm gonna cut out a little bit of my audio here to do to do cutting of audio just highlight what you want hit the scissors and then let's give it a listen so this is just a test recording of my normal voice ah venice still fighting for control i see <sighs> weak pathetic unfit to be called darken awesome and that boys and girls is basically how i got myself to get myself a darken voice you know what i'm saying hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial hopefully it helps you and that's it um, in that third track, when you're messing with the reverb, you can adjust that to your liking. Maybe you want some more of like a raspy voice or more of an echo to yours. But hey, this really works for me and hope you guys enjoyed it and have a good day. Take it easy out there, everybody.